Greetings programs, once again Burnt Out Gamer here, and I am bringing you this time a recent pickups. I haven't done one of those in a while, so let's take a look. So, anyone that knows me knows that I love going thrifty. I love going out and just kind of seeing what I can find, seeing what's out there, and quite often I find junk. I find nothing at all. But uh, there are enough times when I do find something really cool. And it's not always amazing, but you know, trying to build a game collection, anything and everything I try to pick up that I don't have that's I find halfway interesting or halfway decent. And this I found first off was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 for the PS3. Now I was a huge Halo guy when I was playing back then. Halo 3 dominated my life and then when Halo Reach came out I switched over to that with all my buddies. Now we kept on that grind all through Modern Warfare 2 we saw it, you know, watching it, and, you know, we played it just a little bit, but we never jumped into it. The mass hysteria that took over with that. But when Modern Warfare 3 came out, we all decided to kind of jump over and give it a try, all as a group, so we wouldn't be out there alone. And it dominated from then on. We played nonstop. So Modern Warfare 3 kind of holds a special spot for me. And, you know, I have it for the Xbox, but seeing it for the PS3, I had to pick it up. And I'm glad I did. It's one of those things that you can always go back and play. Maybe not multiplayer, but the uh, campaign was memorable enough that, you know, every so often, it's worth going back and giving it a try. Next up on my recent pickups is another Call of Duty game. Call of Duty Ghost. Now... A lot of people hated Ghost. A lot of people hated Ghost. A lot of people still hate Ghost. It is known for being one of the worst Call of Duties out there. And it is well earned, honestly. I picked it up just because, again, I pick up everything that I don't have that is mildly interesting or I think I can play or enjoy to some degree. And I already have it for the Xbox 360, but don't have it for the PS3. So when I seen it there for two bucks, I had to pick it up because, you know, that's what they usually sell for at thrift stores, two to three dollars. If they're more than that, then the game actually has to be decent because I ain't picking up just shovelware for, you know, five, six, seven bucks. Uh -uh, not going to happen. Not at all. But Ghosts, the multiplayer sucked really bad. It was trying to be Battlefield. That was the whole thing about it. The maps got bigger. They had interaction, which was just stupid. I mean, they wanted to have, they wanted to be Battlefield. They wanted to have collapsible buildings without having collapsible buildings. So you'd walk over, press X, and some logs would fall or something like that. It was really stupid. It was made no difference to the maps. It would change afterwards. Like you could like run up, you know, a log after you like dropped them all down. But that, that was it. Um, the only reason I picked it up is because with any Call of Duty game, and I firmly believe this, that the multi or the uh, campaign is completely worth it. I mean, for two to three dollars, yeah. Like they're always the campaigns for all the Call of Duties are usually really good. They usually get some star power in there. They're usually pretty memorable. I mean, they're usually meme worthy. So, picking them up is always worth it, I think, if you see them out there, just for the campaign alone. I mean, $3 to play through the campaign and having it, go for the achievements, go for the trophies. I mean, completely worth it. So, yeah, that was another Insta pickup when I saw it there. And, rounding out my first-person shooter pickups, because apparently someone dropped a game load of them and really into old-school first-person shooters, was Battlefield 3. Now, I was never really a Battlefield guy. I was always more of a Call of Duty guy when I was playing a lot of Call of Duties or military first-person shooters back then. 
But uh, Battlefield was always awesome. I mean, I always had the destructible environments, bringing down buildings, you know, all that stuff. I played through the campaigns on some of them. And again, that's why I picked up this one is just because the campaign, totally worth it. All these first person shooter games like that, Battlefield, uh, Ghost Recon, uh, Call of Duty, all of those that have a campaign on them is usually worth playing through. If nothing for the achievements or the trophies. I mean, why not, right? Always go through. That way, when you see the memes, press F to pay your respects. You know, hey, yeah, I've seen that. You know, so another instant pickup, Battlefield 3. Recommend playing through the campaign. Now, usually when I'm out and about making my rounds to all the thrift stores, because I usually have a route. For all local ones, I live in a large city, so I have access very nicely to many of them. But uh, also have a few local game stores that I like to stop through. And stopping at one, I also picked up this week, Gyrus for the NES. Now, I had this game way back when I was like 10, and I remember trading it away for Mega Man 2. And that's definitely a trade up, like universally anyone would say that's a trade up. But for some reason, I really, really, really enjoyed playing Gyrus back then. So I always had this longing because I never got a copy back of it. And like, it just always bothered me that I never got a copy of Gyrus back. And maybe, I mean, the gameplay was very simple. You just you can go around the circle and shoot at things in the center. But it had that really ominous music that would play that didn't really match the game. Yeah, really weird, right? But now I got a copy. It was super cheap, and it helps fill out my NES collection because I collect NES games, any and all. Maybe someday when I'm in my 90s, I'll get a full collection, and then I'll turn right around and sell it for my pay for my funeral costs. But uh, yeah, really glad to have it. Really, really glad to play it. Also, at that game store, I picked up a copy of Robotech the Macross Saga for the GBA. Now, I've never played this before. I love Game Boy Advance games. They are great. They're like a souped up version of Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis games. They just, they're still that side scroller platformer, not 3D, but they're just super beautiful 2D games to the max. There's so many iconic ones. And I never knew about this game, and I just happened to see it. The game store has, like, a little bag or a bucket of games in it, and it's all just Game Boy games and GBA games, and most of them are junk, but uh, they're all pretty well-priced, honestly. And I seen that in there, and I had to pick it up. It was an instant buy for me. It's really awesome. It's like a side-scroll shooter, and I like side-scrolling shooters, but... Uh, Having a Robotech flare on it, or it, it it's kind of cool. You can change forms as you're flying along. Not that I know if it really does anything, but I mean, being able to fly a Veritech, you got to be able to change forms. So, I mean, it's, it's cool. I love the game. Um, you know, it, it's nothing super deep, but it's definitely cool. I mean, it's a GBA game, so what do you expect? So, that was, uh, <laughs> yeah, my other pickup from that game store. Super happy to have it. Highly recommend it. All right. So rounding out my pickups, also at one of the Goodwills, I found a... <laughs> I wouldn't say a brand new, but it's not brand new. It was in the box, Xbox 360. This bad boy right here. Old school, beautiful, white, Dun, 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 dun. Old as shit. No HDMI cable port in here. Just your composite component cables. So, I got this. 
Which, first off, I've never seen one of these before. I was super stoked about this. I don't know why I was overly excited about this. I shouldn't have been overly excited about this, but all my years and all the, the random shit I have for Xbox 360s, I have never seen one of these. Like, you know, you always just kind of left it in there and left it by itself. But like, when I seen this, I was like, oh my God, look at that. That is cool as shit. So yeah, I got this, cleaned it up. It's really clean for what it is. Honestly, being all white, I didn't expect much being as old as it is. I was hoping, hoping, hoping that it had blades on it just because I just wanted to have blades so I could look at the old school blades. When I first got my Xbox 360 Pro Elite, I thought I was hot shit. And uh, yeah, it had blades though. And that's how I started. And it wasn't long before they launched the new Xbox experience. And that took over, which became whatever it is, blah, 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 blah. But uh, yeah, as expected when I plugged this in, it immediately came up with the red ring of death. Whatever. I uh, know how to fix Xbox 360s. I've done it before. So I plan at some point, I got a lot of mod jobs that I love doing, but uh, my laundry list of them right now is really long. So this one is kind of at the bottom of it. But uh, yeah, I plan on opening it up redoing the thermal paste all that good stuff and uh, hopefully when I do get it working when I turn it on it will have lights so if it does that would be super awesome super super awesome a lot of these when you turn them on they're like time capsules I love that about old systems you turn them on and you can pretty much see exactly when the person stopped you know their achievements or the games I stopped you know 2012 2008 2010 and it's just kind of funny to see, you know, like a little time capsule of gaming history. So, yeah, it was uh, 20 bucks. Came with a controller. It came with a, it was kind of a janky controller. It was official. But, it, yeah, I mean, it's been used. It needs to be cleaned up. It needs to be all that good stuff. Uh, it came with a battery charge port, you know, because the old through school 360s just had those little batteries that you could, like, stick in there. And they had the official one where the two went in there. So yeah, it came with one of those, no cord. Uh, it came with the power brick and it came with the uh, old school composite cables. So yeah, I mean, it was what it was for 20 bucks and it came with a box and that was it, the big green old school box. So yeah, for all that for 20 bucks, I'll, not, yeah, I'll do that all day long. You know, since I know how to fix them, it ain't no big thing. So yeah, that was my finds. For that's my recent pickups, I uh, was real happy. It was a good haul. Usually, you know, they're not always like that, but when they are, it's always super exciting. So I hope you enjoyed hearing about that. I enjoyed talking to you guys. Um, my rambles, and that's pretty much all it is. So uh, tell me about your finds. Do you like going out, finding that stuff? Let me know in the comments. Let me know uh, if you enjoy any of the games that I found. What do you think about Call of Duty? What do you think about the campaigns? I know the multiplayer is multiplayer, and then more... Uh, Battle Royales and Warzone has taken over, but uh, yeah, old school Call of Duty. Uh, I know we were all there at some point, most of us were, and uh, yeah, let me know. So, till then, remember, always, always, always be excellent to each other. Uh, subscribe, like, ring the bell, all the good stuff, and until next time, later on.